Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we have another Fraudback Fridays. We talk about infamous implosions, explosions, disappointments on crowdfunding sites like Indiegogo and Kickstarter. And today we actually have one that's from both Indiegogo and Kickstarter. This one is called the iBackpack. And uh, they did 720000 Plus on Indiegogo, finishing in 2015, and then they did one on Kickstarter as well that got another $76,000. And that one ended what time? Sometime in, I guess it's ended sometime in 2016. And guess what? Both of these have failed to deliver. So let's just look at the somewhat telling name. That Telling in that it is very characteristic of this entire project. So this is the iBackpack Wi-Fi ultra thin and powerful batteries. Wi-Fi, many batteries, 16 USB ports, bulletproof car and wall charger, high-tech USB cables, and more. So um, yeah, it's like that's a mouthful in itself. And as you can see from the picture, it's a smart backpack, quote unquote smart backpack. And uh, yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff. So if it was just a backpack, okay, that could work. It's not that hard to make. Um, but it's more than a backpack. It's a system of power distribution and communication. Um, so apparently they upgraded this thing, uh, you know, more than once. I don't know. Um, but this is the 2.0. And um, you can see it's got everything in there. I won't go through it all, but it's really the kitchen sink. It's like not just a fully featured backpack which would be fine it's got all this effing stuff in it i'm gonna try not to swear today um it's got a power bank no it's got a power bank and it's got a power bank that is also a 3g 4g mi-fi wi-fi hotspot it's got bluetooth speaker it's got a wall charger it's got every kind of plug you could want it's got a usb hub it's got a car uh 12 volt input dc input for cars charging it's got a bunch of cables and i think in one version it even has fn earphones um yeah you can see the full laundry list here so that seems like a lot and they're all separate it's not even like they're integrated it's just a bunch of stuff shoved in the pockets i don't know um you know just this alone would be a pretty good product why don't they just sell that um and so yeah, it's got, I don't know, this doesn't even look as all the same product, but they've got tons and tons of stuff in here. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. And I won't go into too much detail about it because ultimately the thing didn't even work out. But they were charging 170 for just the backpack and the battery, and they probably should have just stopped there. Um, you know, I guess some cables. Okay, throw some cables in there too. But it goes up to 350 and they have some even fancier bundles and stuff like that. And if you look at the uh, Kickstarter one, it's even more like they've got, I guess they decided to add more shit in there. So um, they've got the battery, which doesn't look like it was in the other one. Um, it's got some kind of extra battery, lipstick batteries that go into somewhere. Um, and it's got this credit card thing. I don't know why you would ever need that. Um, this one, is this the same? No, is this something lights up? Um, yeah, and they throw in a fan, so it's literally, they just went down to Shenzhen and found every single USB accessory they could think of, extra headphones, had them make an orange version, orange and white version, or put their name on it, um, and, yeah, like, these are the kind you can find in China, super cheap, like, just getting your name on it's not a big deal. Uh, so, yeah, it, it has a mirror in it, I don't know why you need that. Like, they just did way, 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 way too much junk and tried to throw it in here. And luggage tags and whatever. And guess what? Oh, I didn't even mention the app because you got to track your GPS thing. Um, so they did an app too, or they didn't do an app. They promised an app. And, yeah, all this junk. Um, you know, they should have just started selling power banks or whatever and called it a day or built themselves up slowly um but uh 
this guy went too big and guess what you promised the kitchen sink and you probably can't deliver so as you can imagine let's just look at the comments here I invoke my rights under Kickstarter terms of use blah 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 this guy's just doing it two days ago um, they did some updates uh, last one was almost a year ago 11 months ago um, they've been trying to kind of drag people along did an update for for a couple months in between here and there and uh, apparently what happened so apparently there was some unexplained problems with the batteries because this thing is chocked full of batteries um, they tried to switch batteries and they did this and that and ultimately used that as an excuse and then sort of just stopped replying to people um, and so you uh, word of warning writing this apparently does zero um, you know you can post it all you want this guy posted a year ago doesn't get you jack squat um, and uh, there's just like a bunch of disappointed people and I'm sure this one same thing when was the last update on Indiegogo 11 months ago yeah so they go on about how the batteries are dangerous and they can't do it so not we're gonna give you your money back but we're gonna keep spending your money going to China uh, and find the batteries that apparently are all over the place and um, you know we'll just keep spending your money until it's gone and then Maybe you won't hear from us ever again. Um, so anyway, this guy, Doug Monahan, apparently is quite infamous. Um, there's a lot of people who, I don't know if, I haven't personally researched this, but uh, he's done multiple uh, failing Indiegogo or crowdfunding projects. Um, and in this case, apparently they're trying to use the uh, Samsung Galaxy 7 implosion fire uh battery scandal as an excuse to delay and um, that seems to have been resolved in that particular case and hasn't happened really for anyone since then so I don't know why it's still a problem or couldn't you just ship it without the one battery the huge battery um, you know there's ways around that um, but anyway so that is the I backpack implosion um, it's actually gotten quite a lot of coverage you know this one's really good crowd tools.com uh, they explained over a year ago about you know okay looked cool but you know they did explain but then <laughs> never heard um, so their main point is that it's communication and transparency and also honesty um, I would say that it's not just an issue of lack of communication though I would say it's a fundamental issue of scope and promises they literally promised the kitchen sink. They tried to make a product which had 5,000 moving parts. Like literally it says there's 50 USB plugs or 50 pockets or whatever it is. Uh, 16 USB plugs, uh, 50 pockets, all this stuff. Um, it's called biting off more than you can chew. Uh, and then anyone who believed that these guys could pull off something so complicated um, should have been more careful. You know, but I don't want to blame them because it looks from the pictures, it looks like it's already working. So what the fuck? Um, you know, that's where the, the fraud comes in. If these guys didn't have those components available or there were some concerns about it, um, they should have made it much more careful. And so anyway, these guys here in the I always love reading the comments on these because they actually point out, um, you know, the details. So here's this one mentions also Doug Moynihan has a history of ripping people off with his various ventures said Andrew Watts um, and yeah there's a lot of just general complaints about how Indiegogo and Kickstarter don't really help you after this um, you know after they collect your money and pay it to the guy and the guy disappears um, they claim to have no involvement anymore which is um, kind of bad as well so yeah and uh, this is actually before I, I find it funny this one is actually the same week as this one these guys are like you got scammed these guys are like um, you're in limbo <laughs> um, I guess it's saying the same thing but basically it's it's um, yeah it's a nicer way of saying <laughs> you got scammed you're in limbo um, 
you know, but but they're actually still saying like they're going to be shipping. Um, yeah, profound disappointment. So uh, I guess word, you know, the, the final word is watch out for this guy <laughs> and any projects he's been involved in. He apparently backs a lot of projects. The only one that this particular login is um, has created is, is the aforementioned iBackpack uh, Kickstarter. Um, I didn't even look at his comments. You know, he's claiming, well, he stopped posting in, in a year and a half ago. Um, but yeah, I guess he's in, I's the founder on a team. You know, this should have been a warning. I guess it's too late by the time he posted this. Uh, they claim they were getting prototypes in, in August 2016. So, um, you know, I guess the other thing I wanted to mention is, is, uh, $720,000 is a lot of money. It would probably be enough, more than enough, to make a backpack. It is not enough by any stretch of the imagination to develop and test and do QC and do whatever and the shipping and handling logistics and much less the design work for an app and the battery and the cable system and a whatever. So a lot of those are off the shelf, but you still need to test them and, you know, do QC on them and, uh, you know, even just getting the prototypes with your stupid logo on it, that takes people. So if you have one guy handling five of those, that needs like three full-time staff spending a couple months, you know, sitting around waiting for them to get mailed to you um, from China to line all that up and actually get it working. So, you know, I would imagine just from my not professional point of view to really pull something is like this off. You would need, I don't know, probably two or three million dollars to do it responsibly um, and actually be sure. So this is the real joke is their their goal was like ninety thousand dollars, which is like nowhere near. So they couldn't even do it for seven hundred twenty, much less ninety thousand. And, um, you know, so I don't know what they were thinking. They were thinking I, I need I have to, you know, pay for my uh, rent and I need about ninety thousand um, dollars for the next year. So let me just string this thing up and see if people, if any suckers buy into it. And then they ended up making a lot more and disappeared. Um, so yeah, very disappointing for these guys. I don't know how many backers there were in this one. For the 4,000 people here and the couple hundred in the, uh, where is it? 250 in the Kickstarter. Uh, next time, take smaller bites. Okay, that's it for today on Fraudback Friday edition of Go Kick Me. If you have any questions or comments, if you are an iBackpack 2.0 backer who's crying into your beer, please leave a comment. We'd be happy to commiserate. Um, that's it for today. Do check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Go Kick Me.